All right, uh, March 22nd, 2021, uh, class from 8 to 9 p.m., Intermediate 3. This is our final week, week number four. This is our 13th class, so day 13, uh, from 8 to 9 p.m., Intermediate 3. Today we're going to be uh, looking at antonyms, and we're going to be reviewing conditional sentences.
Hey, Jose, how are you? How was your weekend, Jose? Uh, fine, fine. And how was your weekend? Pretty good, pretty good. Just uh, at home relaxing, watching movies and catching up. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. And you, what did you do? The same thing. Any good movies that you saw? Uh, yeah, I just, I just, I saw the six leaves and one series can call also in the winter soldier, but that was Friday. Mm -hmm. And did you like it? Was it good? Yes, I like it a lot. It was good. Uh, well, what, what was good about it? What is it like a lot of action, killing, or what was going on? A little bit about the massive guy and action, a little bit about her personal action. I, I don't know really. Uh, I just saw the first piece. Only the the first the only the first episode. Yes, yes, the first episode. And you think of what kind of movie do you like to see when you are relaxing? Um, mm, more more than anything, like action. I like um, I like a lot of movies with with um, with thriller or horror. I like horror movies too. Um, I like um, uh, I, I can't think. I saw a horror movie this week and I can't remember the name. So do you like mm -hmm. do you like the thriller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the thrillers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I like thrillers, mysteries, but I like everything that has a little bit of vent, uh, adventure. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's, it's, uh, no, I think it's just fun to, you know, like you forget everything because you, it's so, so much action and explosion and pa, 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 and then so you feel and exciting. It's, it, it's just nice. Yes, that's nice. The weapons, the shoots, yeah, the action and the people fly. Mm -hmm. And in sports, the sport doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, but in fact, in Spanish, it's like a lot of fun. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit harder. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, for example, my my wife and my 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 in laws they like uh, romantic comedies, and eh, I think this is more for for women and in in girls that they like. In my, this. In my case, teacher, I saw many romantic movies. Teacher. I, I remember that that is stuff. Do you like romantic movies, Jose? So, so teacher, it depends on my, I don't remember the word. Mm -hmm. 
I like I, I don't like romantic movies, but romantic comedies are okay. Like uh, where the ones that yeah, are funny. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. that is the thing. That is the thing. Mm -hmm. Next, romantic comedy, right? What about? What about what, Jose? I didn't hear you clearly, the last word. What about the classmate? The classmate that's there? I don't know. Laura, Marce, what kind of movies do you guys like? Hey, Laura, did you change your hair? No, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you changed it. It's not black. I'm not using a ponytail. I have my hair uh, just like it is. <laughs> really? I'm usually, I usually wear a ponytail. Mm -hmm. mm. I think, I think Laura is lying, Jose, but, but we say, okay, okay. I think there's something different. I think she got a new look, but we, but you know how women are. They say this. This is natural. I always look like this. This is this is normal. Uh huh. No, and, no, uh, no. Really, I, I <laughs> had a ponytail, but I have like a little, a little bit of hair, in, so I, I took it away. Uh huh. Okay, Laura. Okay, it's it's okay. It's your life. It's all right. I say yeah. Uh huh. You know who I know. I. Uh, I don't know. Marcy, how about you? What kind of movies do you like? I like um, science fiction movies and romantic drama. And I don't like horror movies. You don't? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And those are one of my favorite, and I, I like it because it, it makes me jump sometimes when I'm watching the horror movie. And if it's a good horror movie, you are you feel that you are there, and suddenly when something happens, <gasps> <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> and that makes me, yeah. So I, I like. I don't like me. <laughs> I like it. I, I was trying to remember the movie that I saw this weekend. It was a, it was, um, it was like a part three of a series of horror movies. And I was trying to tell Jose and I couldn't remember, but I don't, I don't know. Laura, do you watch scary movies? Do you watch horror movies? No. Okay. So then you would a very, very romantic kind of movie. Ah, okay. So then, yeah, I was trying to think because maybe if you guys watch horror movies, you would know which one I'm talking about. But um, I guess I guess not. Uh, probably not. Oh, Insidious. That's the name. I'm looking for it right now. Jose, Insidious. I never hear. Ah, I never heard that name. Yeah, me either, but it's, it's a good movie. Hang on, I'm going to put it in the chat. You make me, you make me feel like, no, it's like, damn, I forgot this that I was to part of una cosa, because I, I think the ring, well, I, I stop, I go to call, sorry. Yeah, but if you get a chance, Jose, if you like scary movies, I like that one. That one was pretty good. It was. It, I, I, I don't like I don't like the horror movies, right? But if you specifically speak about the scary movie, I I just like when he just hit it with the guy and make a uh, uh, a joke, right? In in so many parts, they smell something and drink, and everybody is fun, right? In, in, in those movies, appear the brothers. I don't remember the, the Wayne brothers, right? The Wayne brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The brothers. I know which one. I know which one. Is that? I think uh, even maybe Laura has seen it. and She doesn't like it. I think it's the one that's called Scary Movie. It's like a scary movie, where, but they make fun of the scary movie. 
right? It's like so. It's like it's like a comedy, but the, the original is the scary movie. But this is like a comedy of the scary movie, and they exaggerate, and they are there drinking, and they have they are smoking marijuana, but a like a big thing of marijuana. It's so ridiculous, and they they show what they imagine, things like that. Yeah, I like that one too. That's pretty funny. They have some funny scenes in that. Those are the things that I really like about those kind of. Movies, but but if you're thinking about the computer, uh -huh. damn! I am a scared man. I am so scared to so. <laughs> it was that kind of movie, but perhaps I got a nightmare. Uh -huh. Another thing, I got your pendry out. I'll, I'll, I'll get a nightmare. I'll get a nightmare. <laughs> get a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you like the comedies. Um, I don't know if you've seen that one that I put in the chat, the wedding ringer. That was pretty funny. It's it's like a, it's like what we mentioned, the romantic comedies. Uh, the guy is the maybe you've seen the, the trailer. He's a he's the best man. He doesn't get married, but he's the man. He's the best man of the the guy who's going to get married. But he's not real. He only pretends. He pretends to be the man. The people pay him money, and he's. Oh my friend, my friend, and then he does all of, and he tries to, and he and he charges money for this. So it's it's pretty funny how they try to make it look like, oh, this is my friend, and he says, yeah, 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 my best friend. Oh, I love you. You are the best, and he, all of these different things. Mm -hmm. You should check it out. Never heard old schools. Never heard old schools movie. <laughs> uh huh. Well, you should, well, we get a chance. Well, that's actually kind of our uh, introduction for today. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our conditional sentences. And specifically, with we're going to be looking or we're going to just go ahead and continue and make sure there aren't any questions about this topic from last week. If we remember last week in our unit five, um, this was part of our activities in 5.3. It was unreal conditional sentences. And we learned that we use with if I, and we use the past tense, right? If I saw, if I found, if I went. This means when you use the past tense, it means you imagine the situation in the present. You imagine the situation for the future. That's the, the idea when you use the past tense. If we use the past perfect, if I had found, is I imagine the situation in the past. But if I just use the past tense, I imagine the situation now or for the future, okay? And then if you notice, the second part is I would in the verb in present. I could in the verb in present. I might in the verb in present. I wouldn't in the verb in present. So the clue is the verb in present. <laughs> Remember the difference. Would, this is your decision. Could, it's a, uh, it's a possibility. Might is similar to maybe, it's you're unsure. And wouldn't is your decision not to do this, okay? So as an example, we were talking last week. If I found a million dollars or no, 750,000. If I found a $750,000, I wouldn't return it. You see, I use the negative. This is my decision. My decision is not to give it back. I would keep the money. I remember I said I would buy pupusas for everyone. Hey, from Olukwilta, that way, 750,000, you have the best pupusas. <laughs> That's what we're imagining. We're imagining these situations. Before we continue on to our new topics for today, are there any questions about these conditional sentences? No, all right, I think, I think no, nobody has any comment, okay. Perfect. So let's take a look. Um, actually, the next part, 5.4, is the knowledge check. This is the one that you need to complete and you have to choose uh, which is the correct one, right? And then we have our new topic for today, which is learning verbs for describing events. Now, with verbs, the great thing about verbs is that we have lots of them and we can use different words that help us. Those can be like antonyms, synonyms. Uh, remember, antonyms are words that are opposite, 
synonyms are words that are similar in meaning or the same. We're going to watch a small video and then I'll explain any questions or I'll explain anything that you have. No. Okay. Several antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary. Take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny. Disagree. Dislike. Divorce. Enjoy. Find. Forget. Lend. Lose. Marry. Refuse. Remember. Save. Spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. Okay, so we're going to practice the pronunciation first before we get into it. So I'm going to go through the words slowly to make sure that it's clear. If there is any word that you'd like me to repeat, just tell me. But I will go slowly to make sure that you have the correct pronunciation. Accept. Accept. Admit. Admit. Agree. Agree. Borrow borrow, deny, deny, disagree, disagree, dislike, dislike, divorce, divorce, enjoy, enjoy, find, find, forget, forget, lend, lend, lose, lose, marry, marry, refuse, refuse, remember, remember, save, save, spend, spend. Okay. Are there any words in there that you'd like me to repeat? Okay, I think it's it's clear then. Um, what I'm going to do is let me take a picture and put it into our chat so that it's clear what we're going to do and you have the right image. Um, the idea is with our partners, we are going to match the antonyms. So that means we're going to, like the example that we have there, we're going to take that chart and we're going to match it. Which words are the opposite of each other? So as an example, accept is to say yes refuse is to say no so we're going to try to get all of the ones that are there and find the antonyms teacher what is expand one more time hang on let me show you the screen uh, sorry marcia which word spend the last one spend spend is when you use your money when you have money and you you use it to buy a telephone, to buy a, a gasoline, to go to eat, this is spend. I spend five dollars in a coffee, for example, at Starbucks. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so now with our partners, we're going to match. We're going to find the antonyms of all of those words. Uh, as I said, you can do it if you have your cell phone. I sent the picture to the cell phone so that you can see it. Or if you are in the computer, you go to 5.6. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes with your partner and let's make the antonyms. Let's match them. I'm going, to, I'm going to share there. 
can you share can you share the the screen or the picture i try okay i wait Yeah. Okay. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah, I see. Um, it's the activity. It, it's to found the the opposite world. Yes. The opposite okay. world. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, admit what is the opposite. Rana, the, pronoun I, the pronunciation I, is opposite. 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 Mm -hmm. Opposite. Okay. Opposite. Good. The opposite. Mm -hmm. Admit. Admit. I think is deny. Deny. Yeah. Deny. Admit, deny. Agree, disagree. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this like, no, this like is. This like with. With. Enjoy. Say, enjoy. Enjoy yeah, the light. Yeah. 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 This is the antonymous. The light. Enjoy. Um. Yeah. The words. Mary. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Fine. And Fine. low. Los. 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 Trado por ti, o sea, los. Uh, Len, spend. Forget. Len, spend. No. I Forget. don't know. Forget. Forget to remember. remember. Mm -hmm. Len, spend. Enjoy. Por eso. Enjoy. Enjoy. Pero no Just veo. Like. Enjoy uh, this light, maybe. Quizás porque no hay un light. Mm -hmm. There's no light. Light. Mary divorce. Yeah. Find lose. Uh -huh. Remember. Uh -huh. Remember forget. It save spend. Why is it? I think we finish. All right, let me hear your answers. Okay, borrow, lend, find, lose, remember. No, spend, slow, spend, accept. They, they need. I, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Agree, disagree, dislike, enjoy, rewards, marry, forget, remember. Yeah, I think that's all, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right, let's go back and see if the other group have also finished. Okay.
All right. Teacher, uh, I have yeah. a question. Yeah, Marcia. What is the difference between borrow and oh. lend? Okay. When uh, you want to buy a house or a car, you go to Banco Agricola, Scotiabank, Cuscatlan, any bank that you want, and they give you money. So when you go to the bank, you borrow money. The bank lends you money. So if I want to buy a car, I borrow $1,000 from the bank, okay? I borrow. The bank lends me $1,000. Is that okay, Marza? Like the the person that give me, mm -hmm. it lend me. Correct. They lend oh, you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. And Thank you and you borrow. So you when you ask the question, you say, Laura, can I borrow? Mm -hmm. Right. If you want to change the question, you have uh, to say, Laura, yeah. Laura, can you lend? No, can you borrow? because Laura is going to do the action, so she lends. Okay, yeah, I got it, thank you. You're welcome. Were there any other ones, that, any questions about any of the others? Oh, no, all right, pretty good. So as we can see, actions have a lot of opposites, right? Um, and not always they are exactly the antonym. Sometimes they're close. Uh, sometimes they're a little bit, uh, uh, but not exactly the same ideas. Uh, obviously, we have the questions like uh, divorce and marry, right? Completely different. Right? Like one you have to do and the other one you're, you're finishing off, kind of like that. Um, so there are some actions that are uh, almost almost really impossible or really hard to create antonyms for. But for the most part, if you can do something, you cannot do it. Many times we use uh, prefixes like this or miss at the beginning or un, okay? So uh, you'll hear the words, for example, oh, I I'm going to buy a car. Oh, that's possible. If you save money, you can buy it. Or I say, I'm going to buy an airplane. Mm. That's almost impossible. It takes a lot of money to buy an airplane. So sometimes you don't need to create a new word. Sometimes it's just using a prefix, like in the case of in, in our articles or in our examples, we had specifically the situation like agree and disagree. Very common to just use sometimes just prefixes, okay? Now, besides those prefixes, we're going to be looking at um, continuing with, so we can talk about actions in the past. And here, we're gonna be looking at past modals. So I'll show the video, and then I'll explain a little bit about what's going on in the video. Are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about actions in the past? Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggest. All right, so I want to pause right there just to, to make sure that we can see. Okay, we're using should have or would have, right? And what are these? These are opinions and suggestions. What should I have done or what would you have done, right? This is when I ask what would you have done is I am asking you, for your opinion, right? What do you do in this situation? Uh, when I say, what should I have done, is I'm asking you to give me your suggestion, okay? So the should is a suggestion, whether I use it, um, such as you should, like when I told Jose at the beginning, oh, Jose, you should see this movie. That's my opinion, okay? And when I say, what would you uh, watch, is I'm asking for his, suggestion or recommendation, okay? So as we can see here, we're gonna be using them with have, specifically have. It doesn't matter if it's he, uh, she, it, or I, 
it's all it's going to be have so it's still going to be i would have she would have they would have he would have all of them are with have and the past participle okay so just to clarify that one more time these are for opinions and suggestions let's continue watching and see how it works questions about, about actions in the past what participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Remember for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read these situations. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Number one. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Number two, you saw a classmate cheating on an exam. Okay. Your teacher borrowed... a photo of that and put it into the chat um, as well so that we can understand what we're going to do next. And it's about giving su suggestions or opinions, all right, your recommendations. Now, how are you going to do that? You're going to do that by using the grammar um, that we saw at the beginning of that presentation, which is using these. I will also put that into the chat. So in case you have any questions, you can, or you need an example, you can refer to those. So we're going to do uh, other examples just to make sure that it's clear. So what are we talking about when we're talking about recommendations? So all we're saying is here specifically, they're talking about all of these that are in the past tense. How do we know the difference between a past tense and a present tense? We know the difference because in the past tense, we use the word have, have. In the present tense, we do not use have. So in the past tense, I tell Laura, Laura, you should have gone to the beach. That's in the past tense. I use have and the past participle. Now in the present tense, I tell Laura, Laura, you should go to the beach to relax. That's how we're going to know when the person is speaking in the past or when this person is speaking in the present. The two have similar functions. And that function, the only thing that changes is the tense, the time. But the function is the same, to give opinions or recommendations, right? My opinion, you should, okay? or I'm sorry, my recommendation, uh, you should do this, okay? And, or I would, this is what I do, okay? Is it okay how we make it and why we use it? All right, so what are we going to do? Well, first, we are going to practice answering the two examples that are given to us. Thanks, Marta. And the two examples are, um, your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Well, that's what you're gonna say. Well. Uh, I would have told the teacher, or you should tell the teacher, or, okay, where 
uh, or you should have told the teacher, whatever it is. That's up to you. You're going to decide what is your opinion or recommendations. Then we're going to practice in our conversations. In our conversations, we're going to talk about it. We're going to give different situations to my partner. How are we going to give different situations? It's simple. Give different problems, OK? I say, Marcin, I want to change the color of my wall. I don't like the color, OK? And Marcin is going to give her, my, her opinion. Now, if I say this, Marcin is going to practice the present tense. You should. I would. I would paint it white. You should look for a new color, right? This is the idea. Now, if I give Marce a situation in the past, then Marce is going to use today's structure correctly. Um, last weekend, uh, I, my, my neighbors, oh, this is a real problem. This, really, this is a real problem, okay. My neighbors ring my doorbell. Ding dong, ding dong. They ring the, the visitors of my neighbors ring my doorbell for me because the, their neighbors don't have a doorbell and I live in a, in a gated community. I live like in a closed area. So there are only four houses. It's very private. It's a, it's a very private area. We only have four houses, but I am the only one with the doorbell. So when they want to visit their, their friends or their neighbors, they ring my doorbell. And they say, oh, I thought this was the doorbell for the community. And I say, no, it's for my family. It's my house. Your friend, if, you, if it's your friend, you know they don't have a doorbell. It's, it's logical. If it's your friend, they know you are going to visit. Text, call, message, tell them to wait, but not, not ring my doorbell. So really, this... That is the idea. What should I do? What would you do? That, and that's the idea, to have a conversation. Different situations, whatever it is. And that's what we're going to practice. So two things. One, we're going to answer those two questions that are in the, in the WhatsApp or in our platform, which is 5.8. And then second, we're going to give situations to our partners so that way we can have a conversation. Any questions? I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, it's necessary uh, to use the the second verb in infinitive form. Um, for example, uh, I I tell you um, you sure. Um, you should have to change the color, for example, to change. It's necessary to use in infinity. You do not use the infinitive. You use the past participle. As an example in the chat, you should have changed the color. We do not use the infinitive. The infinitive is, okay. is only in present. And is without two. So, in present. Uh -huh. so as an example, in present, um, you would say you should change the change. color. Uh -huh. And you can look in the chat and you can see the difference. The first sentence is in the past and the second sentence is in the present. What is the difference? The difference is the word have, which is an obligation, and the verb is in past participle. In the second sentence, no have, and the verb is in present tense. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, is that okay, Ron, or would you like another example? That's okay. Okay, perfect. All right. Whatever, wherever the, the subject, always we, we should use have. Yes, because the grammar is in the past. The grammar is not in the present. So the lesson or the, the, the activity is for the past. So always with have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's make our partners and let's practice 
uh, creating the dialogue and answering those situations. Uh, so, <laughs> como estaba haciendo la plataforma ahorita, medio estaba escuchando. Eh, we have to say, eh, your teacher borrow your favorite book and spill coffee all over it. Eh, what would you, what would you have done if you were the teacher? I don't understand. We are using what should I have done or what would you have done in past models with those two questions with it, your teacher. Uh -huh. It was intervening uh, over each seminar spot and grill. Spill coffee all over it. When you have your coffee and you have a book in front of you and you drop the liquid all over it, you spill, you, I have my glass here. So accidentally I, I move myself and I, Fill the computer with water. That's the meaning. Uh, so basically, basically, uh, if, uh, you should you should buy another cell phone or invite it to another topic. Uh -huh, so you I have, have to that. answer. I would have and do whatever you think you should have. Done. Or I will put, put it under under the the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could have uh, put at the sun. My my book put the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, it's a good or, way. Or maybe, or, or maybe, um, I go, I go have um, use my iron. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the second, you so a classmate shooting. But no, the next. refrigerator. Use a classmate sitting on an exam. Sitting on an exam. I. I. I will. I will have talk with the teacher. <laughs> you. Um. You. Um, in that case, you do you tell uh, the teacher? Yeah. You... <laughs> I. But you classmate yeah. shooting an accent. In... And the teacher should have. Uh, you had put a, 
a mistake Put a to mistake. my classmate. Yeah. Oh, you see there, maybe. I think that is, that is the, that, that is incorrect um, cheering on an exam because yeah. you, you, um, you don't uh, learn nothing about that. In the, that in the first one, in the first one, your teacher borrowed your favorite book and still copy all over it. I will have bought other Bow. books. Buy bought other books. But yes, if you have guys. but if you yes. have in, in, important information in your in the book. But with the coffee it's you, not hundred percent. You don't see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Depends. What is the, the damage in the book? Depends because it's a, a small damage. I think um, it's it's not a big problem for to uh, write yeah. write write again the 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 information in in another in another page. But mm -hmm. I think that is enough for to resolve the problem. I think, but if it's but in a the, in the opposite case is the best by uh, a new book. A new book. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If you don't have money for to buy, for to buy, for to buy, buy it. <laughs> to buy, but to buy it on. Right. But uh -huh. the teacher still the coffee, so he he buy the, the book. <laughs> he he paid for the book. <laughs> he will you, pay for the book. <laughs> do you do you borrow money <laughs> at the teacher for to for to buy the new the the, the new book? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. The teacher is I said, there's Laura and Jose. I thought you guys had disappeared. Uh -huh. I don't know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how are you feeling? Everything is okay? How to make these comments? How to use should or could or would? Nice, nice. Or nice. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, in many of these situations, that's how we start to use these third conditional sentences, because you start thinking about situations. You start thinking about opinions and recommendations. If I say, oh, I went to a party and there was this beautiful woman there, but I married. What? Ah, then it's good. Then you should, you should respect your wife or you, you should, or other people say, ah, you should have asked her for her phone number or you should have asked her to dance or something like that. So whatever it is, you use it in many situations without realizing it. 
we're always using these things to talk about or to give opinions. And it could be anything. They could be, you talk about a trip. I went to El Puerto de la Libertad. Oh, in, la puer in El Puerto, you should have uh, gone to this restaurant, okay? Or you should have uh, tried this, okay? Or if I tell you a situation, as an example, I went to El uh, Lago Cuatepeque and this man, uh, this man, uh, hit my car. Ah, oh, I would have been mad. I would have kicked his car or whatever it is, right? That's when we use all of these situations. We're always trying to use these different forms to talk about people, to talk or to give opinions and recommendations. Okay. Are there any questions for any of those? No. Okay. Great, I just wanna make sure. Okay, so as you can see, we're actually finishing up the week. Tomorrow, we're gonna to be finishing up really unit five. So uh, it's important that before we finish that you're doing okay in the platform and there, there aren't any questions. Um, so I'm, we're gonna to try to go through this little by little. We have a few minutes before we go. So to make sure everybody has a chance. Laura, um, I, if I remember you are complete with the platform, right? Yes. Yes. Very good. Congratulations, Laura. Uh, were there? So I assume you don't have any questions, but uh, are there? Is there anything that you'd like me to review, or any questions that you had? Well, I I I was reviewing right now, and I remembered that on section three I had a problem. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was in. Um, I, I, I really, I don't know what happened in, in section 3.10, knowledge check. Okay, 3.10, perfect. Yes, uh -huh. okay. uh, where, where we, um, uh, where we made from two sentences, one sentence using who, that, which, or that. Right, I to remember. To make one sentence, uh -huh. okay. So I really had a very bad time with question number two, when where it says, have you heard of Pirates of the Caribbean? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's an action movie. It starts Johnny Depp. Depp, Depp. Mm. Depp. Uh -huh. I had it wrong. <laughs> I tried a lot of forms, but I couldn't. And do you, so you still have it wrong? Yes. Okay. So which which word do you think is correct to to join the two sentences? Well, yes, yes, it's an action movie. Um, okay, I thought it was who. So if we don't use who, what other word can we use? That stars. Exactly. Yes, oh because remember, That's who stars. is for people, and the movie is not a person. Uh huh. Let me see. See, it's wrong. Yes, no. it's an action movie that stars. Yeah. Is Johnny Depp? It's an action movie. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That that stars? No. Ah, that Johnny Depp is the star. No. No. Check the chat. Check the chat, Laura. Ah, yeah, what? Because we're joining the two sentences. Remember, we're talking about the movie, not about Johnny Depp. So that's why we don't use who. It's an action movie, and then just a compliment that stars Johnny Depp. Okay. Okay. So you can see that the the idea is because you can use which also because which can be for things the same for that and since it's a movie you can use both of them but you cannot use who because it's not a person. Okay. Okay. 
So that's what we what we want to do. I mentioned Laura because I know Laura had finished the platform. So tomorrow, what we're going to do is I want to make sure that it's clear. Everybody should be complete with the platform um, or almost complete with unit five because you only have until Wednesday. Thursday is the last day of class. And the last day is just to review and talk and things like that. Um, so we want to make sure that tomorrow it's clear what to do in the midterm if you haven't done the midterm, um, to review some of the lessons uh, from previous one, two, three, four uh, lessons that we have, okay? So if you have any questions, good, like Laura, write it down. Oh, lesson 3.10, number two or number three, write it down so that way we can, uh, we can go directly to your questions tomorrow and you don't say, ah, oh, tenía una pregunta, no me acuerdo, espérame, espérame. No, just write it down and then we can check. All right, guys, have a great night and woof, three more days, baby, three more days and then begin Semana Santa. That's wonderful, huh? Easter vacation. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, mister. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.